Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today we're back at the shave bar. I thought, what better opportunity uh, than now to do a official Ralph Ost shave video? So, with that being said, let's get started. Today we're going to be using a Ralph Oz straight razor and the Holy Cow shaving soap. It is a Jamestown gentleman scent. It has notes of bergamot, lavender, neroli, light florals, sweet powdery notes, musk, amber, precious wood, and tobacco flower notes. It's a very hydrophilic soap, <laughs> which if you know your science talk or Greek, means it loves water, hydrophilic, as opposed to hydrophallic. Um, I'm pretty amazed, honestly, right off the bat, how much water I'm eating just to get this to really turn into an ice cream, which is good. Remember, the job of a soap is actually more than anything to suspend water onto your face. I know that we like to think of all the other magical benefits and ingredients and I mean holy cow obviously has a lot of that in spades. A lot of premium ingredients and um, the hops extract, the shea butter, lanolin, of course the donkey milk, all these other great qualities. But more than anything it needs to retain water. I keep on adding water. This is incredible. I think this is one of, the, one of the most wet, in a good way, wet lathers I've had. We're going to need all the prep we can get for today's shave. I, uh, you know, straight razor shaving used to be something I did for years, and I really do enjoy it. I just, if you have children out there or a busy life, you know what I mean? That it's just sometimes hard to always make the time for it. A lot of times when I'm shaving at home, um, a lot of times I'm experimenting with a new product, new soap, a new razor, a new you know change we're, we're working on for a razor or something, and I'm, I'm kind of not really doing a shave for pleasure. And then other shaves I do are here on camera. Um, so I don't always reach for the straight razor at home, but I am excited today to do that. So we've been selling Ralph Ost uh, straight razors probably almost on two years here, maybe a year and a half. And uh, I first heard about them through uh, Brad Maggard, a good friend over at Maggard Razors. And I think I was asking him about Dovo. And he said, you know, you really should, if you're, if you're, you know, selling a lot of straights with the Emporium, you should really look into Ralph Ost. And I said, what is Ralph Ost? And he said, it's a, uh, it's a guy in Germany who makes straight razors the old fashioned way, kind of the way they, they used to be made in the old world. He's got a beautiful workshop, and Brad actually went out and toured it, and it's uh, quite amazing. So for today's video, I grabbed the classic beginner straight razor, the, the old adage that everyone's going to tell you to get, a, a 5 eighths round point razor, carbon steel. We put this in one of our uh, straight razor beginner kits because it's so, so such a nice razor. And I'm, I'm, guys, I'm really enjoying the shape so far. Um, talk about effortless. Again, not, not 
I, I would probably call myself rusty, <laughs> no pun intended, with using a straight razor. And it's, uh, it's like riding a bike with this one. It's really just easy, effortless. It's not tugging at all, easy to maneuver. And that's why people say the, the, the round point five eighths, it's not that a bigger blade is going to chop your ear off. I say that as I'm next to my ear. It's that it's easy to maneuver. Years ago, we made a straight razor video and I, I equated uh, the five eighths round point to like a little sports car, like a you know, small four door sedan versus a giant monster truck, you know, lifted four by four. And that's kind of the same thing I would say today. It's just easy to maneuver. It's easy to get around your face. The round points can ensure you don't cut yourself easily. You can still cut yourself off, obviously, but like when I was doing back here by the ear, you know, I don't have the square point that can maybe catch it or a, a Spanish tip or Irish tip, whatever. So I'm going slow and steady. Wins the race, guys. I still to this day have a scar over here from my giant 7 8 inch uh, Santa Steel Friador with a big Spanish kind of raking tip on the front. And I'm, I'm ready to perform the same maneuver that caused that scar years ago right now. So hold your breath. <sighs> you can kind of see this little line right here, little red. Um, it doesn't exactly grow facial hair right on it actually, which is why you see the line. And it came from my, my straight razor, so at least I have a scar. Pretty cool thing, right? Scars are uh, part of part of a life well lived. It was actually one of the last times I used my, my free door at home on a regular basis. I had been... Um, using all the time and then I was in a rush on a Sunday trying to get ready and I literally just went joink and I just had the wrong angle and it just dug right in. Blood everywhere. There's one thing about a straight razor, if you've used it, you know when you cut yourself, you won't see it actually. You'll feel it, you'll feel it just tear through your flesh and then you'll sit there for about 10 seconds with shock on your face, like, did, did that just happen? Did, did I just do that? And then you'll see the little red start seeping out. You're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that being said, I'm not trying to dissuade you from owning a straight razor, <laughs> but I, you have to be prepared for, you have to be prepared. I mean, it can happen. This soap, my first time using the Holy Cow, I'm really impressed. It, it's a different lather than I'm used to. It's more, it's more creamy. It's more, it's extremely hot, well hydrated. I was commenting that, you know, I, I don't think I've ever had a soap that needed more water, but that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing at all. I went with their Jamestown gentleman scent, and this has got notes of tobacco, neroli, lavender, floral, amber, musk. It's a real nice kind of masculine, gentle scent. It's not overpowering. So whenever you're using a straight, always start kind of flat, flattish against your face, and then start slowly just increasing angle until it cuts. Cuts the hair, not your face. <laughs> I always get a kick out of the straight razors in the movie. 
you can tell that they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. And they didn't even take like, you know, the props department or the actor or whoever didn't even take like one minute to go on YouTube and, and take a look at a straight razor shaving video. But they're holding it like this. There's actually a famous uh, uh, magazine cover with um, Robert Duvall and he's holding a straight razor literally like kind of almost perpendicular to his skin. I'm like, what are you, suicidal? <laughs> I mean, great actor, I love his work. Uh, but yeah, the Ralph Foss razors, great quality steel. Uh, I think it's Swedish steel. I'm struggling with what hand to approach this with. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know I like to switch hands. It's something that I just practice. There's no other good word for it. You just gotta, just gotta practice. But you'll, you will thank yourself if you do it because it ends up making it a lot easier over time to shave Um, I remember when I first started using straights, I would always get irritation on this other side of my face. And I was wondering why. I'm like, why am I getting irritation on one side, not the other? You know, you kind of rule out a couple of things. You say, well, it's the same soap over there. It's the same prep work over there. It's the same, you know, whatever else. Brush, everything else was the same. I still cheat a little bit. But um, I was finding that using my right hand, which I'm right-handed, on my left side of my face, I was putting arbitrarily just too much pressure and uh, you know, kind of trying to compensate for the awkwardness. I was just using too much pressure and causing irritation. Uh, for this little kind of pass I'm doing, I do a little trick. I'm kind of angling it and only really having the heel, the, you know, the heel side, the toe, heel, right? Having the heel against my face. And I'm going really slow. I know there's guys out there that can whip this out in, you know, no time at all. But I'm, I'm talking, first off, my mouth is moving, my jaw is moving, my, my neck, everything. But I'm also just, I'm trying to be cautious. Straight razors, ever since my cut, <laughs> and then not using them all the time, still give me just this little 5% heebie-jeebies like, ugh. And you can ask my you know, producer, Marissa, she's always wanting me to shoot more straight razor videos. I'm like, ah, no, not today, not today. But then once I'm actually doing it, 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 it does feel completely natural again, and um, I kind of, um, hop right back on the bicycle. So not probably, um, not probably the fastest shave, but I don't have, I don't think I have any weepers. I'm really happy about that. Of course, with a straight razor, weepers can sometimes be <laughs> more than a double-edged weeper. So luckily we have no, no new scars will be added to my face today. Really, really happy with the soap. You know, again, we carried Holy Cow for, I don't know, maybe a half a year, maybe maybe nine months. And oh, actually, maybe it's almost a year. I don't even know. And I, it's one of the ones I just haven't had a chance to shave with yet on camera, and I'm glad I did because I'm really impressed with its performance. Um, nice, smooth, clean shave. Uh, no irritation. It had a ton of um, ton of water needed to, to really make it lather up into a nice creamy lather, hydrophilic. And yeah, no 
No big scars today, so we're, we had a good day. The straight razor performed awesome. The Ralph Oz comes shave ready. You know, most of the other brands of razors, we actually do sharpen ourselves in our shop, like the Mercurs, or sorry, the Dobos, um, the Deers of Sard, the Bokers, we touch up all those. The Ralph Oz, we don't have to do anything. Um, he's not only a proficient grinder and fabricator, but he's a very proficient honer, uh, bladesmith, whatever you want to say. Um, Honmeister, Honmeister in German, Honmaster, and uh, they come completely shave ready, and they're even strops. That's why I was able just to take it right off of the uh, counter here and to start using it. I'm just really going over my face with the balm. It feels so nice. Other thing with straight razor shaving that um, you have to get used to compared to double edge is it's incredibly exfoliating, and so you. <laughs> You end up scraping off or cutting off whatever you want to say. Um, the first, and this is a good thing, the first, you know, very top layer of dead, dead skin. I mean, uh, you know, double edge shaving does a good job of that too, I feel, but something about a straight razor shave always makes my face feel rejuvenated and um, really healthy again. And it's, it's, I guess it's a good thing. So that's all I got for today's shave. We use the Razor Emporium, our new uh, brush here. That I think will be our, our, our brush on set for our shaves. Great performance. Um, Jamestown, again, from Holy Cow. Let me just clean the soap off here. Um, again, it's got donkey soap, which I guess Cleopatra used to bathe in, and uh, hop extract, all natural ingredients, this guy is real big on um, not having any animal testing, having good quality ingredients. He's really into all the different fragrances and oils and all the things that are really beneficial for your skin. So it's not just a, another shaving soap. It's really kind of more like a uh, spa quality um, uh, performing soap. It's really, really good. So it's supposed to really nourish your face, your skin, and revitalize it, make it look and feel healthy. So. That's all I got. I'm just going to clean off this straight razor over here. Get all the little last bit of whiskers and hair. And that's always how you guys should do it. If you didn't already know, take a towel and hold the towel stationary and pull your razor through the towel. You can clean the edge without having to dull it by going into the edge. Um, that's all I got for today's shave. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, if you've used Holy Cow, if you've used Ralph Foss straight razors, please let me know in the comments below. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered in to win this, our official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with all of your friends, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys.